Everyone, David Bommel coming to you from Cisco Live. Justin, welcome. Thank you. Justin, you're one of the core developers of CML. Yep. And you've been spending a lot of time working on the GUI, right? Correct. And in 2.6, there's a new update? Yeah, so in 2.6, we've made some pretty significant changes to the workbench. Right away, you can see, once you access the workbench, that the toolbar has moved from the left side to the top. You'll see that the add node side panel is now gone. That has been moved to the toolbar. Okay, yep. So same functionality, it's just accessible via the, the toolbar here. So you can drag and drop nodes. And then beyond the add nodes, we've decoupled the state as you're clicking around and nodes and links in the interface. And so now when you click those, the bottom pane no longer changes. We move this over to that right bar, nice. uh, that right menu bar. So if you select a node, you can you know, adjust all the properties on those. Nice. Additionally, we have uh, added this panes at the bottom. And what this allows you to do is by default, you have one pane and you can click the plus here to add additional panes. And then you see this blue square that highlights the default pane. And what this specifies nice. is if I open consoles, so I'll right click select and then hit console and then these will open the consoles for these two nodes and these panes. And you can drag these between the different panes. So I can drag this over here, I can drag it back. And one other thing is these panes can also multiplex between consoles, uh, VNC and uh, packet captures. Nice. And I'll show that now. So if I click on this right pane, it makes it the default. I can right click on packet capture. I can start a packet capture. So I have that packet capture running. I'm gonna go on the router zero here console, and you can see it highlighted here in blue, yep. uh, indicating that I am on that console. So if I ping, you can see the packet capture happen in real time. Nice. Just like in previous versions, you can drill down and uh, decode further. One other thing that we've changed is we've been adding this right-click context menu as the releases, subsequent releases. So we have in 2.4 removed the hover menu yep. and replaced it with a right-click context menu for nodes. We've expanded on that. So if you select a link now, you can perform a action against the link. If you click an empty spot on the canvas, you can perform an action against the entire lab. Additionally, if you select multiple nodes, you can perform an action against those or you can align them. So if I have like two nodes here and they're a little bit off align, we can right click and say align them to the right and it'll put them in align. Nice. Very nice. So for the multiple selection of nodes, if you want to perform an action against multiple nodes, you can switch from pane view to nodes and it'll change the bottom. We can select multiple nodes here, stop them, start them, extract configs. You can see if you have clustering uh, enabled, like which compute they're assigned to. So here you've got two panes, panes, is that what you call Correct, them? Correct, yeah. And inside a pane you can have multiple consoles. Multiple consoles or a VNC or a PCAP or any combination thereof. Oh, within a pane? Yeah. And so, can you have more than two panes? Yes, you can add additional panes by clicking a plus. So this adds a third pane. If I do a fourth, you can continue on. If you hit the X, you can close them. That's really nice. So I mean, so there you've got two consoles running in one pane. Here you've got a packet capture running in, a, in another pane, but you could drag and move it around. Uh, question that some people have asked is, can you detach this? I think you said offline that something is coming up, perhaps in a later release. We're thinking about maybe adding a feature where you can detach this entire pane. Uh, it hasn't been decided yet, it's not on the roadmap, so yeah. don't quote me on it, but we're, we've been in discussion about possibly removing this entire pane and being able to bring it on to a second monitor to allow you to free that up. And Nice. Justin, I really want to thank you, you know, that you guys are continuing to improve the UI and like listening to the feedback that you're getting. Yep. This is great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we really listen to and appreciate all the feedback we get from our customers. So if you've got any feedback, put it in the comments below. Let us know what you think about the, the new updates. So this is 2.6 where this comes in, right? Correct. It's not released yet. We're looking at a timeline of hopefully the next month or two. Brilliant. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, thank appreciate you. it, man. Yeah, thank Thanks. You.